Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, my sister. How are you? <laughs> great morning, great morning, great morning. Good morning, everyone. Hey, Facebook family. This is Apostle Valerie, and you know what time it is, right? It's time for spiritual breakfast. Woohoo! Woo With Pastor Linda. Hey, Pastor Linda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're, oh, grateful. I'm ready <laughs> We're grateful for the ladies we have on the line with us on Zoom. And we are grateful for all of you who are on Facebook. Look, we want you to go ahead and take a few minutes and like and share. Get some more people in the room so that they can enjoy breakfast with you and me and Pastor Linda and everybody else that's with us this morning. We want to share with you. We want to share with you some truth. We want to share with you some truth. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Some truth. Mm -hmm. We, mm -hmm. <laughs> we want to mm -hmm. share with you some truth this morning. And um, I know, I know that you're going to be blessed because I'm blessed now just thinking about what it is the Spirit of God has just spoken and how we're going to move through this and God is going to be glorified in this. So we say again, welcome to Spiritual Breakfast. Oh man, I'm just excited. I am yeah. super excited. I'm super excited. I'm super excited to be with you all. To share, we are, we are, sis, sis. Amen, amen. Good morning, <laughs> good morning, family good and morning. friends. Yes, it, it is. is so good to be with you. You are so beautiful. Isn't it wonderful to be so beautiful first thing in the first morning? Thing in the morning uh, just to, be to be refreshed. So beautiful first thing in the morning. It is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. So this morning, um, you know, we we always have our 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 little chit chat before we get started to try to determine what it is that Holy Spirit wants us to reveal today. And we never really know until we get started. So we got started and the Holy Spirit said, today we're gonna talk about being a picky eater. Mm -hmm. A picky eater, ooh. ooh, a picky eater. And you might say, what? What, 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 what are you saying, Valerie? A picky eater? Yeah, I'm saying a picky eater because when we go out for breakfast, let's just imagine, and we can't do it anymore, but let's just imagine that we're going to get to go to, um, we used to have, it's called Old Country Buffet, right? And you Golden Corral. Or Golden Corral, right? And you take mm -hmm. your whole family in or your whole congregation in or your whole team in, whatever, and you go into this restaurant where they've got a buffet. Now you've got some people that are off the top say, no, I don't want the buffet. I just want to order a la carte. Now, you know, right there, that's a picky person, right? Picky. You got all these choices and you're going to stick to eating three things. And then you've got that one that eats everything on the buffet. <laughs> yeah. Everything on the buffet. They eat everything. They pile up their plate so high that when they're walking back to their seat, stuff is falling off the sides. And then they say, <laughs> oh, go back and get me a plate of fruit. Like you can, you haven't even, you haven't even touched the plate that you got right now, but you want to go back and get a whole plate of fruit. And you want two glasses of juice, a cup of coffee and water. <laughs> you got the whole table spread, right? And then you want to go back and say, ooh, I need some more bacon or I need some more. You are out trying to get everything you can from the buffet. That's that eater. But then mm -hmm. you have that picky eater. That picky eater that says, well, what did you cook that in? Well, I don't mm -hmm. like my eggs that way. Those grits look a little burnt to me. How long mm -hmm. has this been? A picky eater. And you say, Valerie, huh? What, what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What we're talking about today is that the same way we are when it comes to eating our breakfast and being picky about what we intake, we should be that same picky eater to a degree when it comes to our spirit. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should be that same way to make sure that what we're getting is the right thing. So sis, 
Mm-hmm. Read that scripture. You had that scripture for us from Acts. Yes, this is Acts chapter 17. Yeah. And I'm going to start with verse 10 and I'll read 10 and 11. It say, and the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming there went into the synagogues of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind Mm -hmm. and searched the scriptures daily, Mm. whether those things were so. Search and so the he, he, he searched the on. scriptures. Come on. Paul, Paul and Silas was leaving Thessalonica. Okay. And then so when they came to this place, these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They, mm. they received the word. But after they heard the word, they searched the scriptures to see if they were true. If these things were so. Search so, the all right, go ahead. to see mm-hmm. if these things were so. Mm-hmm. That's just like I'm gonna make sure that what you say you giving me in this di- meal, in this dish, is what you say it is. We have individuals that are vegan, or they're vegetarian, or they're pescatarian. That I don't eat this, and I don't eat that, and oh, I don't use that kind of oil, and I need my eggs a certain kind of way. These mm-hmm. are people who are searching out to make sure that what they get is what they need what mm-hmm. they desire, what's best for them, instead of being that big old buffet and just taking everything in. Y'all know that everything that we, we see before us, like, you know, it's Thanksgiving. People are doing those things at the job where everybody bring a dish. You know you ain't gonna eat everybody dish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. you're not. You know some people off the top, you're gonna say, oh, what did you bring? I'm not eating that. Oh, what mm-hmm. did you bring? Oh, I'm not eating that. What did you... How is it that when it comes to eating physical food, we're very we're picky. picky about what it is we're going to take in. But when it comes to the things of the spirit, we'll run behind a prophet because we want to hear a prophet lie because we think it's going to, it's going to make us feel good. Mm. We're not searching Ooh. out the word. We're not Ooh. seeing that what they're sharing is true. As long as it makes my flesh feel good, I'm okay. I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to go to that one and I'm going to give this one $100 because you need $100 to, to tell me a lie. And then this one need $500 to tell me a lie. And this one need $1,000 to tell me a lie to give me a meal that's not going to do me good. But I, because I'm not taking the time to be that picky eater and going back to the scripture and being mindful of what I'm receiving, searching it out to make sure that it's truth and it's going to do my body good. Mm. Mm. And you know, Apostle, I'm thinking about that and keep in mind that we are not saying that you should be picky about which scripture you choose to see or receive. That's not what we're saying. It's just that when someone brings you the scripture and oftentimes scripture can be Mixed with a little untruth yes, is not yes. is not true. Yes. And I remember um, uh, we had a deacon in the church and he would say, I have truth ain't nothing but a whole lie. Woo. So we want to make sure that what is being said to us, that we, we need to search the scripture. We need to see need what to. God is saying, what God is speaking in, through his word. Yes. I yes. admonish everyone. When you hear a message, when, when a pastor, your pastor preach on Sunday morning, or whoever is preaching and bringing the word, when he gives you the scripture, go back and search back that and scripture. That yes, yeah, indeed. because yes, you indeed. have the discerner on the inside of you. Holy well, Spirit is on the inside well, and he is going to discern truth from error for you because that is one of the gifts that he brings yeah and that's okay. why even with that no that's that's real that's why even with being that picky eater you have to make sure that you are in right relationship with the father in order to be picky because if you're not able to discern you have the gift of the holy spirit within you i've taught this time and time again about activating the gift if you've not activated the gift of the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of you, then yeah, you'll eat that buffet. You'll eat everything on the buffet because it looks good. You'll go and listen to whatever people are saying because it sounds good. But is it true? Is it good for you? 
apostle. Yes. I, I, I hear this. I don't know if someone is actually saying it, but they're saying, but this person is the pastor. This person is an apostle. This person is a prophet or evangelist. Certainly what they're saying is true. It, how many times have we heard that? Because someone has a title in front and a degrees title, behind title, their name, uh-uh. you a take it for the gospel. It. A title don't but there's, do it. No. But the gospel is, yeah, the gospel comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. He He's yes. the one that brings the good news. And so we need to search the word. We need to you search to. the scriptures. We to. need to go. Um, you know, even if we're here, some things stand out. It says search. Search. And then, and then they, and it says scriptures daily. daily. And you know, God said, if you seek me, if you search for me, yes. he said, he's going to be found. Yes. So here, yes. when we look for God, when we search for God, he make himself known. He put himself in front of us yes. for us to find him. Yes. He's not hiding. He's, he's not hiding. And he's, he's not putting hiding him, truth. He's by, not hiding exactly. that which is good for you. He's not yeah. hiding that. That's not a mystery. That That's evident. You know, right. when you go certain places and you eat certain things, when you get back home and you be like, oh, God. Yeah, I even before you get that. home, your stomach, yeah, like, oh, yep. I shouldn't have ate that. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, I, ooh, mm-hmm. my stomach hurt. Oh, I think I got to go. I, ooh, ooh. I'm but gonna, you know, a pasta, a pasta. You on. know, a lot of times when we see it and we start eating it, we know that it is not in we agreement with not. us. We know it's not agreeing not with agreement. us. Come on, and y'all. That's the Come same on. the way that when we go some places or we sit at certain tables to allow somebody to give us spiritual food, we know from the beginning that that's not going to sit well with you. You know it's not agreeing with you. But what do you do? You sit there anyway. Mm-hmm. And then you get home and you have dreams that are demonic. Uh-oh. Your spirit is uneasy. You feel it like, Oh, what is that? Oh, you start looking at people crazy because you <laughs> it's like, oh, what, what is that? Come on. You shouldn't have ate that meal. Yeah. You shouldn't have ate that meal. You just should have been a picky eater and been like, you know what? Let me back up from this. And so maybe, maybe it's that you, you're not exercising the right to be picky because of fear. Maybe you feel like I'm independent, like I don't need direction from God. I don't need direction from the Holy Spirit. It's my Mm. thing. I can do my Burger King thing. I can have it my way. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when she talked about because they have a title and they have a degree that you feel like you have to receive what they're sharing. But let me say this to you. Oh, oh, am am I going to say this? Am I going to? You can't be uh, fearful of man. I don't right. care who they are. Right. That's right. If it's not right for you, it's not right for you. Don't try to make yourself stomach physically or spiritually what you know does not agree with you. Right. Just walk right. away from the table, baby. Just get up. Walk away you can do it grace, gracefully, you know, right? Even if you got to do the little religious, hold your finger up and... You know, <laughs> if, you know, if you feel led to stick your finger up and, and tip out, then stick your finger up and tip out. But don't make yourself spiritually or physically stomach something yeah. that you know is not going to set well with you. You know it's mm. not going to set well with you. And that's mm-hmm. why, you know, I'm picky. I'm a picky eater, sis. Mm-hmm. You know I am. Uh-huh. I know you are. You, I'm a picky eater. You picky. I'm picky. I'm picky in the You're spirit. Picky. Not as much as I am in the... I, I, I'm not picky at my sister's house. I eat all her food. <laughs> I eat all my food at my sister's house. Yes, I do. But I don't eat everybody's food. I can't sit at everybody's table. It's that same mm-hmm. thing with me. My husband used to get bothered because we go places and I would just do like this. Y'all see me, right? My arms folded and my face covered. Because I really don't want to look at the person at the moment. And I really don't want them to see my face to know what I'm sensing in the spirit at that moment. So I just fold my eye. I, I do like this. Mm-hmm. And then I peek out. And then I and then I peek out. And then I be like, Lord, I got to get out of here. And I be like, I'm ready to go. And he, he would say to me, why you can't never just keep still? Why we can't just never stay? I, because this is not setting well with me. This is giving me spiritual indigestion. You know, Apostle, um, I, I want to speak to that because all of us, we all have discernment. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. But sometimes the um some some I'll use you for an example have a des- a spiritual discernment that can really that that can be different from others yes. than some yes. some others. I mean, yes. I'm trying to phrase it very carefully because yes. Yes. you you have a, di- a spiritual discernment and maybe all of us are not at that level of spiritual discernment, right. but we know when what we hear yeah. from the scriptures when it isn't quite right. You know when we interject um, some of our thoughts and belief into the scripture. A lot of times we just need to say what Jesus is saying. That's and it. if it doesn't line up with what Jesus is saying through then the don't text, say it. Don't say it. Uh, yeah, because you know, sometimes we can go to hear a message and we hear a message and scripture has never been read. There's no point of reference for what the message that we've heard. So I'm just saying, make sure we line it up with what the word of God is saying. Because we, you know, and and even if you're at dinner, if if you came to my house and I'm serving something that you don't like, you don't have to say, oh, I don't like that in front of your face. You can just say, no, thank you. Or or something like that. Very gracious with it. And and so you don't have to partake of what's being said. You don't allow that thing to come in your spirit yes. if it's not truth. If it's not truth. And the Holy Spirit in you will bear witness. Will bear the witness to the truth. And ooh, 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 ooh. He is a spirit of truth. He is. He is. He is. That's why Jesus gave him to us. Yes. To be truth. Lord right. have mercy. To be right. truth. To be truth, y'all. Yeah. You and and we do we do want truth. We want and truth. this hour we need, need truth. 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 Yeah. Truth. Not your truth, not Linda's <laughs> truth, not my truth, not not uh, right. Minister Ella or, or Evangelist Elder Jackie, not their truth. We need true truth. Right. True truth. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, we discern. need to discern. We need to discern. Need to discern the, true need, truth. Right. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm talking about that picky eater, you know, and that's why sometimes, well, no, that's not why sometimes... You know, when we go out, we might say, what do you want tonight? You want Italian? You want Chinese? You want seafood? You want Americana? You want Thai? Japanese? What type of food do you want tonight? Sometimes before we even get to the table, we're already discerning what's going to be best. That's why we have so many different quote unquote churches so many different Mm -hmm. religions because people Mm -hmm. are seeking after something specific when what they truly should be seeking after is the relationship. Right. Not the religion, not I'm going to go here because they don't shout. I'm going to go here because they don't speak in tongues. I'm going to go here because they don't allow women preachers. I'm going to go here because I can dress any kind of way I want to. I'm going to go here because they got a good worship team. I'm going to go here because the pastor is cute and I'm single. I'm going to go here. Come on now. No, we're keeping Mm -hmm. it real. We pick and choose a lot of times based on what we feel in our flesh and not necessarily what's right yet. We want to go where we're comfortable. So we should be led by Holy Spirit, right? We should be led by Holy Spirit in all of that. We should be discerning and being discerning will make you picky. Mm. (laughs) How many times I'm I'm going to go here now. I'm just going to go here now. And and somebody, we might not like it, but how many times I said, well, my 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 mom and daddy was at the church, and, and my grandma and my yeah, great 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 grandma, Lord they all mercy. were at this church, Lord and I got to stay here because they were here. No, you don't. No, I you mean, don't. but but you know what? And we are dying on the vine. Come on, sis. Come on. We're we're dying. We're dried up. We're dying. We we're not getting truth. We 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 don't get to move in the assignment that the God assignment has ordained God for our, our lives. lives. No, oh. we just get oh. to be religious. Come on, that's not helping. Church. That's not no. helping us. No. It's no. not helping the people no. that we come no. in contact no. with. Not at all. We need to be growing in grace and in the growing. knowledge of the Lord. Growing, oh. growing. You know that. You oh know that's God. what religion. Come on. That's what religiosity is, um, saints. It is not wanting anything to change. At all. 
Religion don't want change. It's the no. same thing, the it same way all the time. I said that to you tell me. It suffocates oh, you, tell me. you. I told somebody I the other night, it suffocates oh. you. It oh. takes breath out oh. of you. It takes life out of you. That's why it's necessary to be discerning. Oh. That's why it's necessary to go back and search the word. That's why it's necessary to discern. That's why it's necessary. Because we are to grow according to God's intent for our lives, not man's intent, not even our own intent. We're to grow according to God's plan for our lives. And sometimes we can grow. Come, mm, 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 mm. Lord have you know we what? And we stand Lord before, mercy. when we stand before to receive our rewards from the yes. Lord, yes. he's going to say very calmly and very gently and very lovingly, he's going to say, Linda, I placed greatness Ooh. on the inside of you. Inside of you. I oh. gave you great gifts. Come on. And I was speaking to you and I was telling you what I wanted you to do with it because I had people assigned to you, on, but you never did what I told you to do. On, and those people never received from you what Come they were on. supposed Come to. On. On. Is that any, am I speaking to anybody this Come on, morning? Sis. Come on. Come on. He said, what did you do? What did you do with your gifts and talents that I gave you? I know we're not talking about breakfast this morning. We, we got it going off a little bit, but this is what the Lord is wants us to know that he has greatness in you. And you know, there's some of us are sitting in the same place in the same spot of the church doing the same thing we did for the last 30 years. My God. And it has nothing to do with his original intent for your life. Yeah. Nothing. Where am I going with this? Nothing. Where are we going no, with this? No, we're, we're right where we need to be with this. That's why in this hour, we have to build our relationship, not mm -hmm. worry about the religion. We have to be discerning. Right. We, we have do. to be picky. We have to be in the assigned place, not the family place, not my best friend's place, not my cousin's place, not the popular place. We have to be in our assigned place connected to the right leader, which says I've placed myself under this leadership, not it was just no, this takes discernment. It takes wisdom. It takes studying. You know, listen, if, if what you're hearing, because even, oh yeah, Lord, he said, sometimes you go to a place and they don't even read the word because that's a motivational moment that they want to give you. They want to give you a hype moment. They want to say, oh, this is the day. Oh, they'll say that this is the day the Lord has made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Lift your Bibles and let's say this, that, and the third. That's all you're going to get out of the Bible. Then they're going to say, I've got a story to tell you. Back in the day, this, 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 this. Okay, well, you gave me uh, inspiration that lasted a whole five minutes. And this is the day the Lord has made. And then you're going to send me home where I got trials, tribulations, problems. You ain't give me nothing for that. But because 27,000 people go there, I'm going to go too. You better go ahead and discern what's right for you and get up and walk away from that big old buffet meal and find you a nice little diner. <laughs> find you a mm -hmm. nice little diner that's got mm -hmm. a cook that's going to know what you want with, oh, hey, hey, welcome back in. Hey, Valerie, I know what you. So you need your eggs this way and you want your bacon a certain kind of way. I'm going to put your grits on and they're going to be hot when they come out. Your grits not going to be like their grits because they like grits with cheese. I know you like grits with a little butter and salt and pepper. I'm going to, come on, you better go somewhere where somebody can pour into you truth. Mm. Truth. <sighs> truth. Oh, well. This morning, we want to say, <laughs> seek, seek the Lord. Yeah. Seek Search him. for him. Search for him. Yeah. Search for him. Become a God chaser. Yeah. Study the scriptures. Study yes. the word. Yes. Study to show yourself to approved prove. unto God. Yeah. Yeah. That, so, you're, so you're not ashamed. Right. Ever. Rightly dividing the, the word, word of truth. Of truth. So we right. want to say to you today, it's okay to be a picky eater. Whether you're a picky eater in the natural or a picky eater in the spirit, it's important in this hour for you to discern what's best for you. Somebody said we need to eat according to our blood types. Do you know your blood type? Somebody right. don't know their blood type today. 
They well, me. you know, I, I got holy, sanctified, saved, yes. holy, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, blood type. That it, That's good. That's I don't know who said that, but that is good. We need to eat because yes. we want, we're in the kingdom of light. We've Come been on. born again. We've been Come regenerated. We've been Come born on. of water, but now we're born of the spirit Come and on. we have the DNA of Christ. Come on. We have the DNA of Christ. So that is our blood type. We need to be eating the word of God. Hallelujah. Come Sister on. or brother, whoever said that in. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Woo, That's you right. Gotta know. You gotta know. You gotta know. Yeah, gotta you gotta know. know. You, you gotta know that you're born again. You gotta know it. Born of the spirit. You gotta know you, it. Yes. You gotta know oh it. Oh my God. You gotta know it. You gotta know yes, it. Yes. The when word. You do, when you know that, when you do that, when you're moving in that, then it allows you, it allows you to be comfortable in being picky. It does. Yes. It, it, it allows you to be comfortable with yeah. being a picky eater. It, it allows and you to allow, be okay yeah. with discerning when you walk into a place and you discern, oh, this is not the right place for me. The, I don't need to, this is not the right place. It's okay. It's mm -hmm. okay to recognize that, to feel that, to sense that, and then to govern yourself according to that. It's okay. It's you know, okay. you use, um, it's, um, it's comfortable and we can we can use the word also confident. Yeah. You can be confident that yes. you're hearing from yes. the Lord. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 To be confident in him. Yeah. In him. Not yeah. not not hurting anybody, not being um vicious or malicious or or boastful or anything. You know, because you know you don't have to be all loud about it. Yeah. You can be very calm about it. Yeah. And the, and and the, the just word know. says, uh, let him <laughs> Who had an ear? Let him hear. He that has yeah. an ear, let him hear. If you right, got an right. ear and you're hearing and it's truth, then walk it out, baby. Go mm -hmm. ahead, get up from the table, go to the next place, back up from the table, hit another YouTube channel, hit another Facebook Live, whatever it takes. Go back to the word, line it up with the word. Make sure that what you're receiving is truth. Make sure that what you're receiving is going to be right your spirit that's going to give you the nutrients you need to grow in what it is that God has called you to. We don't need to be pacified. We don't need to be, uh, we don't need passive. We don't need to be pacified in this hour. We, we, we're growing up. We're growing up. We God, need truth. We, we need truth. We need truth. We need truth. We need truth. That that's the truth. way to grow on the truth. going to grow us up. Yeah. Truth. Yeah. Everyday truth. So Amen. again, we say thank you, thank you, thank Hallelujah. you, thank you for coming and having breakfast with us this morning. Pastor Linda, you got any closing words for our audience today? No, no, no. I think I said more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, not more than enough. You said you said what was needed. We invite you to join us again next week. If this has been a blessing to you, please consider sharing it on your page, letting other people know that they can join us each Saturday morning at 9 a.m. as we share the word of God. You can go back and read this in Acts. What we told you was in Acts. Then what was added was what the Holy Spirit gave us. You can go back and check us. Go back and check us. It's in the Amen. word. <laughs> It's in the Amen. Word. That's right. It's Search the, the word. word. Search the word. Search the word daily. Search the word daily. I hear your Holy Spirit. Some of you have to change your diet. Some of you have not been mm -hmm. in the word daily and it's affecting you. I, I got to give you this before we go. It's been affecting you. You've been a little um, droggy. You don't have the energy you used to have. So you find yourself wanting to take supplements. Those supplements are things outside of the word of God. Those supplements that you've been taking are not truth according to the word of God. Those supplements that you've been taking are not those things that are led by the spirit of God. They're things that were pleasing to your flesh. That's why you're feeling drained. That's why you don't have the energy that you used to. That's why you're not producing. But the spirit of God is saying to you this morning, change your diet. Go back and start getting in the word daily. Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Change your diet and go back and start reading the word. Allow that word to feed you, to nourish you, to give you what you need, to strengthen you for the journey. Do that. Oh, oh do that. And you're going to see a difference in your life. I had to give that to whoever that's for. And I'm going to receive it for myself. 
I'm going to receive that for me too. Amen. Amen. And you know, I hear something now, Apostle. Yes. The supplements can, can be the motivational thing. Yeah, they are. But they what are. sustain us it's is the word, word itself. That's yeah, it. yeah, that's yeah. It. That's yeah. It. That's it. Amen. Because I give you motivation on Wednesday mornings. Yes, I do. I'm going to give you yeah. a motivation, but it's going to be motivation that's inspired by the word of God. You can go back and Amen. check that too. But y'all got to have the word. You got to get the word in. Got to get the get word. The word yeah. In. Gotta get the amen. Word. Amen. Gotta get the word in. We Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To each one of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving this week. Please let's do what we're supposed to do. I'm going to just say it that way. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Whatever that and be means safe. to you, be safe. Do what you're supposed to do. Use wisdom. Use wisdom. Yeah. Somebody said is, is, it would be better to do a, a, a virtual turkey dinner than to be in ICU later. And you just let that marinate. Love them. You can love them from a distance. You ain't got to love them all up on top of each other. Let's just use wisdom. Let's be safe. Let's enjoy. And you know what? Let let the word be a part of your meal on Thanksgiving. How about that? Amen. Amen. Let the word be a part of your meal. On Hallelujah. Before you all sit down and do whatever you do, let's let the word be a part of that meal. Amen. We say love and blessings to each of you. We love you. We appreciate you so much. Be filled with his spirit and with his word today, and it will give you the strength you need to move on. I say God bless you. Linda, love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank love you. Love you. Hugs right. and kisses. God bless you all. Enjoy.